Welcome back to the rest of the story. Oh, well, as I've probably already said, we're out of the field for a while. We're having a significant, and I really emphasize the word significant, amount of rain this fall. It, uh, <laughs> we already had that significant amount, I'm gonna quit saying that, but we've already had a substantial amount of rain last, was it last week, week and a half ago, took out all of our floodgates, uh, did a bunch more damage that uh, we never mentioned to anybody. And with all that moisture that's coming in, I guess it's from a hurricane out in the Pacific. And what it's doing is that it's dumping more water than what we can really take in because the ground's already overly saturated. Now this is the spillway that was put in uh, 1933. We were told we could actually demolish this if we really wanted to because we were told up at the local county office that a lot of these that have been built are junk. They have rotted away and crumbled in and fallen apart. Well, ours, when we told them that we still had one that was still very much intact, as a matter of fact, when we did that bulldozing and cleaned out that tree line, uh, we went through and they had them build this back up so it was still serving its purpose which as you can see it still is doing a very good job at it's kind of controlling the water that's going down through the bottom here it's kind of keeping it in the waterway for the most part our waterways are doing a very nice job the problem is it's currently six o'clock at night this is flooded like this. This is the third time today that it is flooded this bad, where we got water running down pretty much from end to end, edge to edge of the waterways. And you can see it's, it's, actually, it's actually gotten up to the bottom wire on the, on the fence down there. It got grass hanging off of it. And I just got a, emergency alert for potential flooding flash flooding for tonight well to put that in perspective we already had how much flooding yet today and i hadn't gotten any flash flood warnings i just got one as i was walking down here from up of the buildings and this is significant enough as it is and i just got a flash flood warning it's kind of alarming as to what Mother Nature could have in store for us in the next three hours because the rain is supposed to stop by nine o'clock. But you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Oh my. It is raining pretty good yet. Anybody that thinks that'd be fun to get down in that and go for a swim and be sadly mistaken that would take your feet right out from under you faster than you could hit the ground so i never had any desire to play in any floodwaters that's for sure but it's a very good show of the force of mother nature that we as farmers or as, as a race in general we really don't have the last say in a lot of this it's completely up to mother nature uh, but I can tell you, this is the first time in my lifetime that I've actually ever come down here and seen this spillway work like this. I've never seen this much water run through it. It's not very often where you get this kind of this kind of flooding, this much rain during the day, where you can actually drive around and see how much you've gotten. I mean, we drove around through everything this morning, and it was actually pretty pretty firm, but. The problem is that there's so much moisture in the ground already from everything we've had that it has nowhere to go but run off. I was told we were supposed to have up to four inches of rain and by two o'clock today I was already hearing that we were already over five inches. But according to the weather forecast, which 
uh, you know, you can believe them as far as you want. According to the weather forecast, it's supposed to quit by nine o'clock tonight. It was supposed to go till midnight. And then we're supposed to get uh, just cloudy days for three days yet. I mean, what is today? Yeah, four days. It's not supposed to rain for four more days. The thing is, I don't know how much it's gonna contribute to limiting the amount of rain we're gonna, or flooding we're gonna get next week. They are saying we're supposed to get up to the 60s, all the way up to the 80s throughout the rest of the week. I think we're pretty well shut down as far as field work. I mean, we are shut down as far as field work. But um, the problem is, is that for how bad this is right now, the crops are handling it. I mean, I'm not seeing too much as far as crop damage yet. I mean, we are on hilly ground, we're on contours. That's what the alternating crops are, why we have beans, corn, beans, corn, all the way up the hill to try to reduce the amount of erosion we have. It does help control the wash to a certain degree, but once it hits the waterways and has those all soaked up, there's really not much to slowing it down. And it is starting to thunder again. So I'm thinking maybe I better get out of here before I get dumped on again. But no, even Rocket's not too willing to play in it. So I don't know, everything's working the way it should be as far as the floodwaters go. But I can start heading out of here. I mean, this, when we were growing up, there used to be a pond you see where the burn pile is, but there used to be a pond from the fence. Well, the fence was never there at the time, but from the fence up to about a quarter of the way down uh, from the spillway. And there used to always be some standing water. And in recent years, I, nothing that we've really done. I mean, it's just, oh, it's the weather, the climate, whatever, um, but it dried up. And just recently for how much rain we've had in the past few weeks it's actually been holding water there's been water standing in it and it's a copy paste of last year it really is uh, we started get uh, we started harvesting about the last week the last week of September and according to the weather forecast it's going to be probably two weeks at, at, at best uh, before we get back in the field I mean, these soybeans are kind of alarming. I mean, this has no signs of really slowing down yet, does it? Well, let's just say all of our waterways are at capacity. But, um, uh, whatever I was saying before, I'm tired of it. It's just like last year. Um, it was the third week of October before we really got harvesting corn at all. Uh, where we are sitting good right now is that we do have a bin loaded and drying right now, so we are ahead of the game that way. It's just uh, as long as we can get the weather to get the, the yeah to get the soybeans harvested. What's the matter, dude? Yeah, we better get out of here. Um, that's the long and the short of it is we need sunlight we need sunshine Ooh, that's really gonna start for we need sunlight sunshine uh, to get those beans out of the field we haven't cut any soybeans yet and the way it's looking and the way things are going I was gonna try to pull some of my corn out of the field in October so we wouldn't be pushed so late this year Whew. Excuse me, um, but the way it looks, uh, we can get out in the field and start harvesting and start getting some things done. We've already done a couple late nights as it is, but we're no strangers to having to work late nights, long hours. And it just means that it's going to happen again this fall. So. You guys are watching the rest of the story. It's starting to lightning pretty good. Now I gotta go find the dog, the other dog. Take care, take it easy, keep in touch.
I'll talk to you guys later.